Joel and welcome to Keep Your Enemies Close, the show where best friends get to take part in some amazing challenges. But not all the challenges will be alongside each other. Oh no, they'll be ruthlessly mixed up and forced to play alongside their enemies. Could you turn your enemy into a frenemy? Let's meet the four pairs of best friends who are willing to do just that and put their friendship on the line. They're all in The Mixer. First up are Ruby and Shannon from Uxbridge. Then Alicia and Claudia from Middlesex. Then Jamie M and Owen from Wrexham. And finally, Oscar and Jamie F from Camberley. We've met the best friends, now let's hear from them. Hello, this is Shannon. Hello, this is Ruby. We're both from Uxbridge. We've met on induction day in school together. Ever since induction day, we've been friends, but now we are best friends. And we both love trampolining in school. <laughs> we hate football. So boring. Shannon's favourite hobby is drawing, and Ruby's favourite hobby is dancing. <laughs> we're blue, we're the best, and we're doing it for Uxbridge. My name's Claudia. I'm Alicia. And we're both 12 years old. We live in London, but we originally come from Poland. We go street dance together. And here's some of our moves. We're best friends because we go shopping together, slip over, and we help each other. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, no. So what's are the best? best? We're going to win. Hello. This is Owen. And that's Jamie. We're both from Wrexham. And we're age 11. I've known Jamie since I've been three weeks old. When I first went to Owen's house, behave. I threw a block at Owen's head. <laughs> In our spare time, we either walk my dog patch, play football, golf, cricket, sport, rugby, clouts, touch, calls, indeed. <laughs> This is Jamie. And this is Oscar. And, and we're, we're both, both 11. 11. We met when we were three years old at our primary school. We have lots of the same interests and go to lots of the same clubs. Football, rounders, cricket. Oscar is always... He's an attention seeker. <laughs> that is not going to be on camera, so... <laughs> OK, he and Jamie to get... is too. But we're still good friends. He tries to get all the girls. Oh, you good boys. We, we work, work the, the best together. together. Well, they just seem like an absolutely wonderful bunch. But all too soon, they're going to be wrenched apart by the mixer. More about that later. It's now time to put the best friends through the first and possibly last challenge they'll face together. Here, they'll not only gain a massive psychological advantage, they'll also gain a unique reward. This, the hand of friendship. Now, if any of the pairs of best friends win, that could come in very, very useful if they make it to the final. But who will grab the hand of friendship? Let's find out after we play this. Tube Strike. Right, this is Tube Strike. These are massive tubes, and they're powered by tiny best friend's legs. We'll be able to see just how well they work together as they've got to navigate across some pretty bumpy terrain. They'll start in one corner, they'll then roll to the opposite corner, flip up their tube and strike down their team coloured target. Only once that's hit the floor can they then flip up their tube once more and try and burst the one and only big red winning balloon. A big bang here will mean a big victory, plus the all-important hand of friendship. Keep your friends close. <laughs> Blues, Ruby and Shannon charge in, but are spun by the pinks, Oscar and Jamie F. Top left, Silver's Alicia and Cloudy have knocked down their targets. Pink's knocked down their target just as the Silver's snatch it. Alicia and Claudia, let's have a look at that explosive victory one more time. Wow. 
Speedy Silvers literally fell over themselves to win. <laughs> Did you have a tactic? Um, no, we just like try to go fast and that's it. I mean, you were miles ahead of anybody. I mean, I was very impressed. It was seamless. And you're well deserving of this. Now, this is our hand of friendship. Now, that could be the difference between winning and losing if, and it is an if at this stage, you make it to the final. Because very soon, the best friends will be playing against each other. Because this is a game show with a difference. But the rules of keep your enemies close are simple. <laughs> Before each challenge, the mixer will mix up the best friends to create new pairs of frenemies, two people who don't know each other. The frenemies will have to put any differences aside and work together in order to win. After each challenge, the losing pair will be eliminated and sent back to the mixer and locked down. So four pairs become three, then three become two, until only one pair remain. The winning pair of frenemies split and release their best friends from lockdown. Reunited, they will face the final to win. Keep your enemies close. Let's crank it up. <laughs> the first pair of frenemies out the mixer is Oscar and Shannon. Next up is Ruby and Claudia. The next pair out of the mixer is Alicia and Jamie M. And the final pair of frenemies out of the mixer is Owen and Jamie F. But what are their differences? Let's investigate. We'll start with Oscar and Shannon. Now, if Oscar could take something to a desert island, it would be a spoon. That's fairly practical. Shannon, on the other hand, would take a boat. So when the going gets tough, Shannon will be on a boat whereas Oscar will be chilling out with his spoon. And then we've got Ruby and Claudia. Now, Ruby, if she could have a superpower, it'd be the power to read people's minds. Claudia would be to move things without touching them. Surely that's just having a younger brother or sister. Well, will these two be getting up to some Jedi mind tricks? Then we've got Alicia and Jamie M. Now, Alicia cannot stand boys' jokes because she thinks they're really low quality. And then Jamie M can't abide girls screaming all the time. Well, let's hope they don't start telling jokes and screaming together, because that could be friction. And finally, we've got Owen and Jamie F. Now, Owen's favourite musical instrument is the drums, whereas Jamie F is the guitar. Will these two be able to keep rhythm? And will they be able to thrash their way into the next round? Only one way to find out, as one pair of frenemies will be eliminated after we play this. Whack-a-bolt. The aim is to thwack your frenemy-coloured panels using this massive catapult loaded with tennis balls. For example, Shannon and Oscar, you have a blue catapult. Therefore, you'll be aiming for the blue-coloured panels. Accuracy will be vital. As you can see, the panels are very close to each other. You don't want to help your enemies, otherwise the show will be called Help Your Enemies. You've got to keep your enemies close, not encourage them to win. The last pair of frenemies to thwack all their frenemy-coloured panels will be eliminated. So good luck, and remember to keep your enemies close. The panels have to be broken or smashed. Power is the key. Oscar and Shannon hit a silver, but they're aiming at blue. Owen oh, hits a purple. Second purple thwack for Owen and Jamie F. Owen and Jamie have done it. Incredible accuracy, all three purples broken. Oscar and Shannon have misfired again, another smash silver, but they need to smash the blues. Claudia thwacks a pink for her and Ruby. Oh no, Alicia returns a favour and breaks a blue instead of a silver. Yeah. Oh. Jamie M shows teammate Alicia how it's done. They're through. One blue and two pinks remain. 
Not for long, though. Oscar and Shannon thwack their way through. OK, so for Ruby and for Claudia, it is a matter of blame game. Whose fault was it? Ruby's. Claudia's. Claudia, why was it Ruby's fault? Because she didn't aim properly. She was just, like, smashing the balls in the smashed ones already. She can't aim. But at the moment, right, you have been eliminated. It's not completely over, because your best friends can win you back in time for the final. For the moment, we're going to head to lockdown. Right, Ruby, it's lights out and lockdown. Ah, oh, Claudia, those cursed thwacker bolting, eh? But for the moment, it's lights out and lockdown. So, only six players remain. Let's crank it up. The first pair of frenemies out the mixer is Owen and Shannon. Next up is Oscar and Jamie M. And the final pair of frenemies out the mixer is Alicia and Jamie M. What's the mixer been up to? What frenemy pairings has it put together now? Let's have a look. We'll start with Shannon and Owen. Now, Owen reckons long hair on girls annoys him. Shannon reckons boys are annoying full stop. These guys could be arguing, but luckily for Owen, Shannon's hair is middle length. But then we got Oscar and Jamie M. Now, if Oscar could have a superpower, it'd be the power of telekinesis, the power to move things without touching them. Jamie M's power would be simply to have the force. Well, these two could be a pretty powerful combo. Will they force themselves into the next round? We'll find out. And finally, we've got Alicia and Jamie F. Now, when it comes to taking risks, Alicia likes to do it sometimes. She sporadically likes to take risks. But Jamie F is all about taking risks. Well, will they have enough risk in them to make it to the next round? We'll find out, as one pair will be eliminated after we play this. In the pipeline. Here, the frenemies have to get a ball bearing like this one all the way through these pipes up to the finish, which is up there. But they'll do it by using only one magnet. Now, in between the track is a panel. It's a blocking aid. And here, the frenemies will have to share the magnet while still trying to keep the ball bearing on the track. So, the last pair of frenemies to complete this will be eliminated. Keep your enemies close. Maneuvering the ball around the corners of the pipes is the trickiest part. Alicia and Jamie F, good changeover. Oscar's trying to be too quick. Great progress from Shannon and Owen. They're so far ahead, they're standing up whilst the others are still crouching. Again, it's too rushed from Oscar. Oscar and Jamie M are quite a distance behind. Can they catch up? Owen and Shannon, despite not really communicating, have made it all the way. Yes! In the pipeline. Alicia and Jamie F are way ahead of Oscar and Jamie M, but could this be the comeback? The girls are really struggling on that tricky piece of pipe. And the boys have overtaken them. Yes. It's tense. The boys are really in the zone now, but the girls are coming back at them. Incredible oh, stuff. Oh, oh. And along, along, along. The glory run. Congratulations, Oscar and Jamie N. But for Alicia and Jamie, we'll have a look at where it went wrong. Alicia and Jamie F just couldn't negotiate that tricky changeover. Frustration. Anyone at fault here? Um, both of us. But you're both taking the yes. fault, but unfortunately for Alicia, you and Claudia have been eliminated. But for Jamie, you've now got to rely on Oscar to win you back. Can he do it? Yes, I know he can. 
Jamie, it's lights out and lockdown. Oh, Alicia, it's lights out for the hand of friendship and it's permanent lights out for you and Claudia. Four players remain. It's time to crank it up one more time. The first pair of frenemies out the mixer is Owen and Oscar. And they'll be facing Shannon and Jamie M. Alicia and Jamie join Claudia and Ruby in lockdown. But for Alicia and Claudia, it is permanent lockdown. So, let's see what the mix has been up to and its final pair of frenemies is placed together. We'll start with Owen and Oscar. Now, if Oscar could be a celebrity for a day, it would be the Prime Minister. So he could be really nosy and find out all the secrets of the world. Whereas Owen, he'd be his namesake, Michael Owen. Well, let's hope they don't miss their chance to get to the final, because Michael Owen's always missing chances. Then we've got Shannon and Jamie M. Now, Shannon cannot stand English at school. She doesn't dig it. Whereas Jamie M lists English as his top three subjects, as one of his top three subjects. Will these two ever speak the language of challenge together? We'll find out, as one pair will make it through to the final. Who will it be? Let's find out after we play this. Puzzle panic. If the frenemies get puzzled and panic, well, it could lead to elimination. All they've got to do is complete this hand puzzle, but they'll have to do it while lying on their backs. They'll be on these skates here. And as your teacher says at school, Bums on seats at all times. You're not allowed to leave the skates. Now, the last pair of frenemies to complete the puzzle will be eliminated. Now, for Owen and for Jamie M, you're already through to the final. But for Shannon and for Oscar, you may have to get your frenemies to work double as hard to guarantee that place. Good luck. And remember, keep your enemies close. The puzzle becomes a lot clearer when the edge pieces are put in first. Will the frenemies use this tactic? Owen and Oscar have picked up every single piece, whereas Shannon and Jamie M are doing one piece at a time. <laughs> Owen and Oscar look to be overloaded, whereas Shannon and Jamie M are making steady progress. Owen and Oscar have two edge pieces in place. But Shannon and Jamie M have all their edge pieces in. Come on, there's one more bit. Come on, Shannon, there's one more bit. One more piece for Shannon and Jamie M. Oh, Shannon. Well done, Shannon and Jamie M have done it. But Oscar and Owen, unfortunately, it's too little, too late. Let's have a look and where it all went wrong. Biting off more puzzle pieces than they could possibly chew. Ouch! <sighs> Oscar and Owen, what went wrong? Was it... Did you talk to each other? Were you communicating enough? I just couldn't see. <laughs> it is hard. I mean, once you're under there, your perspective is gone. You just don't really know what's going on. I'm looking at it now and you were quite a way off. Oscar, unlucky in the end, it was too little, too late. But you did really well to get this far. But Owen, you can join Jamie M back. You guys, victorious. How did you do it? Um, we got no one. Yes, concentrating and you a bit of communication. Yeah. Congratulations, Ruby. Shannon has won you back. It's lights on, out the mixer and back in for the final. The best friends are back together and reunited. What's so great about you two that makes you a winning combination? We're lads. You're lads, OK. So, Ruby and Shannon, these guys, Jamie M and Owen, reckon they can win because they're lads. What do you think? We can so beat them. That's what I like to hear. Why can you do it? Because, because we're, we're girls. <laughs> there we and go. We're a good team. And you're a good team. You're going to need your teamwork as we play this. <laughs> this is the final. On this grid are the words, keep your enemy's close final. There are 15 different letters in those words. A letter will be lit up 
and a category will be given. You will then have to give me two correct answers, starting with that letter from that category. For example, if your letter was P and the category was job or profession, your answers could be plumber or postman. There are loads of different answers that you could have. You'll have five seconds to give me those two correct answers and the sound you'll hear when time is up is this. Two correct answers will send your enemies along that track. Headed closer to those chutes up there. And those chutes are filled with slimy, disgusting, horrible clag. You really want to lag behind the clag. If you fail to give me two correct answers, then you yourself move along the track. Now your aim is to get your enemies to that clag barrier right there. Let battle commence. Jamie and Owen, you go first. Your letter is... A. Category, animal or bird. Time starts now. Time is up, which means you move along the tracks. You could have had alligator, ant, or anteater, antelope. Behind sight is a wonderful thing. It's a great start for you, Shannon and Ruby. Can you continue it? Are you ready? Your letter is... N, category, band, or pop star. Time starts now. Time's up. You could have had N-dubs or N-sync or Natasha Bedingfield, but you couldn't quite master it, which means it's a let off for you there, Jamie, M and Owen. Are you ready for your next letter? It is. E, category, British League football team. Time starts now. England. You gave me England, unfortunately, that's a national football team. You could have had Everton, or Exeter City, or East Fife. Unlucky. Right, Shannon and Ruby, it's a let off yet again. Are you ready? Your letter is... E, category, British town or city. Time starts now. England. Everton. OK, now, England is a country and Everton wouldn't have counted. You could have had Exeter or Edinburgh or Epsom. So it's a let off again for Jamie M and Owen. You move along that track, closer to the clag. Right, will there be a correct answer here? Let's find out. Are you ready, boys? Your letter is... R, category, type of sport. Time starts Rounders. now. Running. Rounders. Running and rounders is two correct answers. Congratulations. Which means Shannon and Ruby move along the track. You really need a correct answer now. Are you ready? Your letter is... N. Category. British football team. Time starts now. Nigeria. But that's a different country. Oh. You gave me Nigeria, unfortunately that's a country in Africa and it's a national football team. You could have had Norwich City, Nottingham Forest or Notts County. Which is great for you, Jamie, M and Owen. The girls are heading ever closer to the clag. Are you ready for your next letter? Your letter is... K. Category. Band or pop star. Time starts now. Um, kiss. You gave me one correct answer, which was KISS. If you'd followed that up with something like Katy Perry, or Kate Nash, or Kelly Osbourne. OK. Girls, you need a correct answer. Your letter is... C. Category. Animal or bird. Time starts now. Cat. Caterpillar. Cat and Caterpillar. It's your first correct answer, and you needed it. Which means Jamie M and Owen it's now even Stevens. Your letter is... Y. Category. British town or city. Time starts now. 
City, York. Um, why would I? I'm York. Time's up. You gave me one correct answer, which was York. If you followed that up with someone like Yarmouth or Yeovil, you would have been all right. Shannon and Ruby, if you get this right, you've earned the opportunity to send the boys smashing through the Clag barrier. If you get it wrong, we go to a tie break and we bring in the buzzers. Are you ready? Shannon and Ruby, your letter is... S. Category. Type of sport. Your time starts now. Swimming. Skiing or skateboarding, oh. but under the pressure, your mind does strange things. Which means it's a tie break. Bring on the buzzers. Okay, guys, this is it, the tie break. It all comes down to this. Just like before, a letter will be lit up and a category will be given. But this time, I only need one correct answer. Your letter is... I. Category. Country. India. India is a correct answer, which means Shannon and Ruby go smashing through the Clag barrier. Look at the celebrations. Congratulations, Owen and Jamie. You have proven you are the best of friends. Do you want to send them to your enemies before you send them in? Yeah. Nice, nice try, but you're clogged. We're going through the guns, and you're just jealous. All right, send them in. How was the ride? Was it all right? Should we take a look at that wonderful moment one more time? No. Let's do it anyway. Bish! Bash! Bosh! Ah, oh, look at that. So, what's been your highlights of today? The girls, the girls getting clagged. There's nothing like clagging the girls, is there? Well, I think you're very deserving of our Keep Your Enemies Close solid silver medallions. A right and a left make a winning pair. Thank you. OK, so remember to keep your enemies close, but your friends even closer. If you love the new adventure starring Sarah Jane Smith and the Doctor, then celebrate with CBBC. Text SJA to 84400 and get a free CBBC mobile wallpaper. You can even download a special wallpaper for your computer from the CBBC website. Just click on the Sarah Jane Adventures, go to the attic and find Sarah Jane's PC. Download the free, but do make sure your phone can get MMS messages and remember to ask permission first. You can find full terms and conditions on the Sarah Jane website, but there's a limited number, so be super quick.